Hey guys, how we doing? Welcome back to another video. This is the one I think most of you, well, a lot of you have been waiting on, part two of how to publish your book on KDP Amazon. A lot of questions about the first one. I'm going to do another video here, and I promise that one's coming out here within a week. And what I want to do is I'm going to take some of those questions along with any questions and comments you have from this video, and I'm going to do another video next week on those comments, and that will wrap up the book. But I will definitely be coming out with that here this week. So if you're going to leave a comment, do it right away, and I'll answer those questions and those comments. But I can't guarantee a year down the road, six months down the road, two years down the road that I'm going to be replying to all this stuff. So if you've got a question you're watching now, feel free to put it in there. All right, a couple quick things. Kind of a new studio here. A lot of you regular viewers, I, I, I'm, well, it's a new job here. At a, well, not a new job. I've been here a while, a radio station in Indianapolis. And I come in uh, one evening uh, each week and just kind of babysit the board, make sure that nothing's wrong, that everything stays on the air pretty easy. It gives me a great opportunity to make these videos. So I'm going to start I always say I'm going to start cranking out videos, but I think I finally got it set to where I can now crank out a bunch of videos. So I'm using my GoPro. I didn't want to bring the other camera and stuff. So hopefully, I don't know what kind of quality here. Hopefully we're okay. So now let's get to the contents of this video and what we're talking about. This is part two, how to publish your book on Amazon KDP or KDP Amazon. It's kdp.amazon.com. Go there, sign up. Check out my last video for kind of a preview and to get an idea of what I'm talking about. This video is the nuts and bolts on how to prepare your images and get them ready and get them into a PDF so that you can get your book published, all right? This is the one you've been asking for. This is not in detail, it's about 30 minutes, but you know, there's gonna be some holes. You're just gonna have to figure some of this stuff out for yourself if you come across a situation you don't understand. Also, very important, a couple things to keep in mind. I'm in the United States. This is all available to me in the United States. Your country, you may not have the same printing capabilities because there are a couple things you must do in order to have a quality photo book. And one of those is you have to be able to choose the premium color ink, or they may call it premium color interior, I believe, on white paper. Premium color interior on white paper. The other one, that's the highest quality. The other ones, you're not going to get as good a quality and they could come out looking like photocopies or something. A couple people complained about that, but you know, if you live in Cambodia or somewhere else, I don't know where you might be, you may not have printers that are capable of, of doing this uh, or you know, price-wise, they may not just be able to offer it. So I can't help you. If you don't have the premium color interior option, you're not going to get the quality that I'm talking about, and I love the quality of the books I've had so far. And people are like, well, they look like crap. Well, you may be ordering yours somewhere else. I mean, mine, if you order one of mine, for instance, it should come with premium color interior. I'm saying if you create a book, you may not be able to offer that as an option because it may not be available where you are. I'm not sure how any of that works. I don't work for KDP. I don't work for Amazon. I'm just trying to, like, get you on the right path here. For 95% of you, it shouldn't be a problem, okay? So some other things, really important you need to know, black and white. If you're doing a black and white book, not just a mix, but even if it's a full only black and white book, don't get fooled, don't fool yourself into thinking you can go the cheaper route of only using the black and white print option. That's for text books, I mean text you're going to look like a photocopy. I'd made the mistake, I think, of uh, some Memphis photos, or I did a little book of black and white photos years and years ago. And I thought, oh, I'll just go that route. And they'll be like, you know, two bucks a book. And they were like two bucks a book, but they were crap. And, and they just looked like a bunch of photocopies or something. I learned my lesson. Even with black and white, you need to go color premium, color a premium color interior on white paper for your book. That's very important. Okay, so in this video, what we're gonna do is show you how to prepare your image. I use Lightroom, you can use anything, it doesn't matter. The bottom line is you need to be able to output an eight and a half by eight and a half, that's 8.5 inches by 8.5 inches, I'm using the square, and you need to do it at 300 dots per inch. And you need to make these not much bigger than eight, eight and a half inches by eight and a half inches. If you export it as the full photo, the file size is going to be huge. So you want to make it close to what your page size is going to be so that your file size isn't too large. You can print up to like 400 pages or so, but you're limited on 
file size. So the better quality your photos are and the better quality you output, the less photos you can use in a book. You can easily get a couple hundred pages and that's kind of silly to go much more than that anyway. But bottom line, you want to, like if you're doing an eight and a half by eight and a half book, the images are only going to be about eight, eight by eight. So eight and a half is fine because you never want to have to expand the book. All right. If you made your images seven by seven and then they had to blow up to eight by eight, well, your 300 dots per inch, those start um, distorting, not good. And they may not even accept it. So 300 dots per inch, make your photo a slightly larger. And we are here slightly larger than your template. That way you're shrinking it just a hair, but that's okay. It's not going to hurt it. You don't shrink too much, but just a little bit, half inch, an inch, I'm sorry, a quarter inch, something like that is okay uh, all the way around. And I think that's about what we're doing. So uh, that's a couple of the very important caveats right there. Now, we're also going to look at how to put these in InDesign. That's where the template comes in. You can create your own template in InDesign or any program that does a similar thing. I'm selling my template for $1.99. I ask somebody, oh, it's bullshit, you're selling it. Okay, well, whatever, don't buy it. I just figure it out for yourself. I mean, I, you can do that, I'm sure. But for two bucks, I can save you a lot of time. If it's not worth the two bucks, don't do it. Do your own. That's quite all right. I'm not trying to sell anything here. I don't care. I'm just trying to help you out here. So buy it if you want. Don't buy it if you don't want. The link is Jason Dozier Photography. Sorry, it's such a long name. Jason Dozier Photography.com slash 85 book. And that'll get you there. Or you can just click the link in the uh, comment section below. Make it a lot easier. Click that link. It'll take you to that page. You click the PayPal button. You don't have to use PayPal. You can use a credit card. I don't have Venmo and all that. So just it's PayPal or you can use your credit card, debit card, that sort of thing. Just hit that option below. Then it'll immediately take you to the download page. You download the zip file and in the video here coming up, it'll show you how to extract that from the zip file. If you don't know, it's very simple. You just right click and extract all and boom, there it is. And what else do we have? So from there, you, I show you how to, create, how to put the photos in the template. I made it about a 50 page template. You can make it a 20 page, a 300 page, and I show you how to basically just add more pages to the template. And it's just basically made for one photo per page. Then what else do we have? After that, we've got to export it. Exporting the PDF, very important. I show you how to do that. And then we take that, we go to KDP, and we get an ISBN number. That's an international something book number. Okay, whatever. Each book has to have one. You can get a free one from KDP, but you can only sell your books on Amazon. You can't sell them anywhere else unless you order copies and then sell them yourself. Of course you can, but you can't take them to bookstores and things like that. I don't care. Nobody's going to buy these books off of me anyway. So uh, actually, I'm sorry. I do sell them. I, surprisingly, people buy these books, but you know, whatever. That's not why I'm doing it. I'm just doing them so I have a photo album of my own photos. So and I just buy a copy of each or maybe two copies and give one to my mom. Uh, okay, so she's a huge fan. So uh, then what do we do? Oh, cover creator. That's a free thing in KDP. Create your cover. Very easy to do. Just make sure you have a photo you want to use. And, and then we submit it. And then we get a proof if you want a proof. And if you don't want a proof, you don't have to have a proof. And boom, your book's available on Amazon. I go all the way through the entire process. My book is on Amazon that I just created in this video. So you can check all that out from the beginning to the end. One huge caveat. I do not do any technical support here for you. Sorry. There is no refunds. There's no... I, you know, I, I can't help you. I'm sorry. It's $1.99. If, if you lose it, you lose it. I'm telling you that now. Make your own template. That's fine. Don't use mine. I don't care. But I'm not giving refunds. I'm not going to sit there and answer every email, every, ah, oh, this didn't work. What do I do? I don't know. So hopefully this will help you out. I think I've covered everything. There's a few major points there that I'm pretty sure I covered. Anything else will be covered in this video. I hope you enjoy it. Please like, please subscribe. Let me know that you do like it. You didn't like it. You thought it was crap. You think I'm an idiot. I don't care. Let me know. That's the fun of it. So, all right, guys, we'll see you on the next one. Okay, so we are in Lightroom, and I just wanted to show you, I have about 40 photos here of a recent street photography outing with my Ricoh GR camera. And again, just 40 photos out of 175 I shot on that day. And normally I would not create a book on these. However, 
with this process, there's no reason you couldn't. I did that with a few rolls of film, only 24 and 36 exposure. So we're gonna go ahead and use these photos and create a book. And again, I will export these and I'll show you some of the details, what we need. I'm gonna put them in a folder that's uh, titled 85 by 85, which is actually 8.5 by 8.5 inches. What I'm referring to, let me make some changes here from one of my last photo shoots. So I'm gonna call these GR-Street, and we'll start at number one, of course. And as we scroll down, we will, again, the quality, I typically use 80. We want 300 resolution pixels per inch. That's very important. And again, I'm going to change the size of these so that their output is eight and a half inch, well, yeah, eight and a half inches. There we go, 8.5, which I guess if you're looking at this in pixels, it would be 2550. That's the long edge, but it's a square, so both sides will be eight and a half by eight and a half. So as we go down, I guess we'll keep the sharpen, but we'll use glossy paper for this book. So we'll keep it at a standard glossy output. I don't like to put a lot of metadata in these because it's I'm the only one seeing these photos and it just makes the files larger, which can be a concern. And okay, so these are going to output and we will then take them after they're done outputting and we will put them in the book. All right, so here we go. We have the photos ready to roll out of Lightroom again. These are only about one megabyte or something like that. If you make them too large, and you wanna use a couple hundred pages in your book, then you're gonna have file size issues. So I try to make the photos as close to the size they're gonna be in the book as possible. Never undersized because if you expand them, then you start distorting the pixels. So oversize by maybe an eighth of an inch, or if you know, like these are exactly eight and a half by eight and a half. By the time they're printed or in the book, they're gonna be about eight by eight. So I'm shrinking them slightly. Uh, that's better than expanding them. And again, so we'll just take a look at these, make sure they're all good to go. And yeah, they'll look fine in the book. All right, now we'll move on to the formatting. Okay, so when you download the folder, it'll go into some sort of probably your download folder. You'll have to find this on your computer, but you're looking for the 85 by 85 zip folder, which is 8.5 by 8.5 inches is what that stands for. And you'll want to highlight, you will go right click and extract all. And mine is set up to where when you do extract all, again, there it is in the same folder. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out of that folder. And I've already got my photo set up here. Put these over here. This is what we're looking for, 85 by 85. Inside there will be another folder. If you just pull it out here and lay it on your desktop, it'll kind of turn into one folder. You see the other 85 by 85 went away. Doesn't matter, that's up to you to figure out. But at any rate, here we are with our two files. The one is the inside template and the title template. Now, we want to open up our InDesign. Again, you can use any program you want, but these templates will only work with InDesign. Go over here to Open. The first one we're gonna look at, I'll, I'll show you the title template here. And you've got three pages. This is page one of the book, which is as you open the cover. This is the first page you'll see. It's your title page. The second page, uh, this is information. Right here is your ISBN. This is free. You don't have to purchase that, but you won't be able to sell the book anywhere but Amazon. If you want to sell this book in other places, you'll have to purchase an ISBN, and you'll have to figure that out on your own. At any rate, this is gonna be our first three pages. So let's go ahead and open up the inside template. That's what we're gonna work with right now. And you'll see that the inside template 
is set up with 50 pages, the last page being page 50. This is the inside flap of the back page, or excuse me, of the back cover. Uh, as you would imagine, you need an even number of pages there. All right, so this is page four, what we're starting with here. I did not put a frame in here for a photo because I like to leave that page blank and the first photo goes here. If you hit Control D, you can look for the photos to insert. And of course, I've already chosen my folder here. It's my 85 by 85 photos. I've got 40 photos, so my book will be 40 some pages, 43, 44 pages. And I'll just grab the first one here. And if we pop that in, you'll see that unfortunately it covered up the page number. These page numbers are important because when they assemble the book, they have to know which order they go in. So that's not gonna work. So you have to go up here and click the parent. Just click the first one here, double click it, and you see this. Now what we're gonna do is highlight this. This is already set up to where this is an automatic. You can go in and do the tutorials if you want, just follow along. I'm not gonna teach you how to use InDesign, just what you need to know here. These, trust me, will be your page numbers and they will go chronologically as you see over here. I've got those set up. But we want this white text. So I will highlight the entire thing, go up here to Properties, and go here to Fill area, fill, and on mine it's paper, that's white, or I would imagine none, but white works for me. Double click that, whoops, and just click over here and that disappears. This becomes white, you can't see it. Okay, over here, and again, this is where you, before you do this, you would wanna change your text here. Again, you just use the, if you double click in here, you can change your text, this is already set up. So, I'm going to go ahead here. You'll need to do this for both pages. And there we go. Now, when I go back up here and click pages, and go back to page number five, whoops, I pull this over as you can see now, see right there, you can see that. So let's go here to page six and we're gonna start going down and filling these in. Now you need to go up here and make sure and just I like to use the top, what is this, the selection tool here. Now, highlight that, control D, and I just start, actually I don't want to use, well, I'll go ahead and use that, that's fine. And there we go, and then control D here. See how that, uh, now those page numbers show up there because I have a lot of contrast and a lot of black, and we're just gonna, whoops. I don't want this one on this page, I made a mistake, so I'm gonna hit control Z, and then control Z again because you can see I'm holding this photo. For some reason you have to hit it twice. So now we'll do control D, and instead of putting that one in, I'm gonna put this one in. And then we'll go over here, control D, and put this one in because as you can see now, it shows up a little better with the page numbers. But in general, I'm just going by the way I've got these in. So I've put all these in, now we'll put this gentleman there, and so on and so forth. And now I will just basically speed up the process here as I fill in my photos. Okay, there we go. So uh, now I've got 43 pages. You always have to leave a single page at the end. So I'm going to double click here and make sure at the very least I get number 44. I'm gonna hold the shift key, highlight all three of these, and then I'm going to right click and whoops. There we go, going to right click and delete spreads. That will delete those three and that's page 44. Now, it's important, you must 
highlight this and delete that frame because these frames that I set up for your photos, they do have a, what am I trying to say, a, an outline, a black outline. So we also have to go up here to page four, whoops, and delete that one so it does not show up. All right, that's just gonna be a blank page. Okay, so that is setting up our inside. Your template has 50 pages. You can add more pages by simply, before you get to the last one, you can highlight, whoops, highlight both of them, right click, and you can duplicate the spread. Now, I didn't wanna do that because, of course, the best thing to do would be to have these without a photo on them. Well, for instance, if I highlight this, get rid of the photo by double clicking. You can see if you click once, if you click once here, you get the actual frame. If you click twice, you get the photo. So we got that. Now, if you wanted to duplicate, you can duplicate this spread and you can make as many spreads as you need. If you need to delete them, you delete that spread. Okay, delete that, whoops, delete that spread. Okay. Okay, so I'm back to 44 pages. So that's how you add your pages. Now I wanna go back over here, which is our title page. Go back up here, I'm gonna call this capitalized Rico GR Street Photography 2023, even though this is only one outing. Um, well, I would've rather have made that like February, but that's okay. And then I go over here and I need to make this the exact title, Rico GR Street Photography 2023. Now I'll have to go back uh, and open this up again in order to put this ISBN in when we fix our, when we actually upload the files printed in the USA by Jason Dozier Photography and my website, Jason, oops, Jason Dozier Photography. There we go. And I will then save this. Again, would be better to resave it as something else, but we're just going along here. Again, this is something we're gonna come back to. So that sets up our templates. We are going to make our book here in a little bit, but first we need to go sign up on KDP get our free ISBN number, and then come back and then create our book. Okay, so we are on the KDP Amazon site. Technically, I believe if you go there the first time, you just type in kdp.amazon.com, and yes, you'll need to get signed in. Now you can see I've got books here available. You can find these by searching Jason Dozier on Amazon. Now this was the latest one. I just did a video on my top 100 street photos from 2021, and you can see that video uh, preceding this. Now we need to create a new book. So we'll go here, we'll go to create, and we are going to paperback. You can do hardcover, we're going paperback right now. And uh, our book title, we put it in there, was Rico GR Street, Photography 2023, no subtitle. Actually, I like to put the subtitle by Jason Dozier. You'll see why here when, we do, when they go to do the cover. Author, no prefix, Jason Dozier. No contributors, book. Um, this is a sample of my street photography shot with my new to me, Rico GR digital camera. Also a tutorial meant as a tutorial for how to create a photography book. There we go. Okay, something simple, stupid. Primary audience, adult content, nope, no porn here. Oh, I own the copyright, I hold necessary publishing rights, that's gonna be important. Uh, nothing here as far as age, categories, 
You must answer, oh, okay, you must answer adult. Well, let's see. Does this book contain language inappropriate? No, it's not inappropriate. Okay. Okay. So now we have to choose a category. This is just art and photography. Select one. I'm just going to go with general and we'll call it a day. Keywords, how to publish a photography book, Rico GR digital camera. Boom, who cares? Okay, now we're saving this. Okay, we're still saving and saving successful. Now we're on to number two of number three. Here's where we get our own ISBN. If you have your own, you can enter it. If you don't, you click this, assign my free KDP ISBN, but you cannot take this to any bookstores and sell it. You can only sell it on Amazon. As they tell you here, you can use a free ISBN to publish your book, but it can only be used for KDP distribution on Amazon, blah, blah, blah. Yes, that's fine. I don't really care about taking these around to bookstores. Nobody's buying them in bookstores. Okay, now here's my number right there. So I've got to copy that. Okay, now I'm going to go back into my title template go over here I've got that highlighted I can just paste it it's right there we are good to go now I can save that template right there and we're gonna come back to this and finish our book but that's why the one thing you have to get signed up for first which you could have done that first and then put the book together but I wanted to show you in this fashion okay so let's minimize that go back here so now we've got our ISBN publishing date be the date that's an optional because basically the date now it's important here you've got to choose premium color interior on white paper that is your only choice uh, for good quality photos if you don't have this option in your country I cannot help you I'm sorry and I want this to be the square which is eight and a half by eight and a half right here Okay, eight and a half by eight and a half, no bleed. And I wanna go glossy, which looks nice. Now, we're ready to upload our paperback manuscript. So, since I don't have it ready yet, I'm going to save as draft. I needed to get that ISBN. And now we will go back to our book. Now we will put our book together. So, we've got both of our pieces ready to go. We go up here to new book. A new book we go I'm going here uh, I should have put this in a, I'm just putting it up here should have went it probably in my template uh, okay should have went probably somewhere else but I'm putting it here I will title it Rico GR street photography 2023 save that and this pops up here with nothing in it because there's no content yet so I have to add the content, which will be my inside template and my title template. Now, again, I should have titled these as something else, but for the purpose of this, it makes it easier for you to understand. You can drop and drag these. You can click them and move them around. Pages one through three and four through 44, which is what we have here. The template title is one through three. Four through 44 is right here on the inside template. So we've got those, we won't highlight any of them. We click right here, this little book thing there, save book as, and we're back there. It's the, that's, we already created that, but we're, we're, we're overwriting that. Rico GR Street Photography 2023, saving it. Yes, I know it exists, but I'm overwriting it. And now it's ready, it's saved. The last thing, we go back up here once again. And we're going to now export this to PDF. Now we're going to call it, basically let it be titled It's what it's titled, only this time it's a PDF, so we will save that. Now it's gonna come up here with this. What you'll wanna do, if yours is not set up this way, I can't help you, but in general, you wanna to go to PDF X 1A 2001, but we're gonna modify that. So you wanna look for that not high quality print, none of these just right here. This is the way I was told how to do it. You don't change anything there. You do not change anything on compression, 300, blah, blah, blah. 
nothing on the bleeds. You can do bleeds and things if you can figure it out, um, which is your next step. Go ahead, not on this book. Output, this is where we're changing. Right here, color conversion. You do not want them to alter the color of your photos. So instead of convert to destination, we just simply go to no color conversion and it cuts this stuff out. Don't include profiles. Um, and you see now you're at modified. You can save this as a preset if you want. That's the only thing we're gonna change in this. Actually, you could go back here in this high resolution. I've got mine set to low. I'm not quite sure what that does, but it doesn't seem to hurt the quality. So I think it makes it a smaller file, but you use it your discretion. Okay, and now I'm just gonna hit export. And you can see here it's exporting rapidly. And this is always the cool part. We get to see what the PDF is going to look like. So we'll let it go through its process here. Now, of course, this is only 40 pages, 43 pages. You can do several hundred pages. The only restriction is, well, there is maybe 440 page restriction, but your file size is what the problem is. And again, that's why you don't wanna make your photos larger than they need to be, um, that sort of thing, because every little bit helps. So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this and we will open up our folder where we should be able to find right there is our PDF. We'll click that. Now with this PDF, my viewer, of course it's gonna come out like this. The only way I can make mine go to where you can look at pages side by side are uh, the even spreads. I, okay, and while that does, this would be the first page. Again, if you open, this is your inside cover. This is your first page, so it's by itself. Now we're getting into page two, which is not marked, page three, page four, which is blank, and now we hit our photos in page five. And there we go. We've got our photos, and we've got our book. And I'm pretty happy with all that. It scrolls all the way down to our last page, which should be blank again. If you've got that frame there, that means you did not delete it like you were supposed to. And by frame, I mean, you can see the outline. If you don't want that, you can go through and take that off of every page. Now we go here to upload paperback manuscript. That is going to be our PDF. So we go here and there is our manuscript right there. Now this will upload, it'll take a few minutes depending on your upload speed of your computer and your internet. So we will cut to the actual uploaded version. All right, save successful. We've uploaded our manuscript. Now we need to launch, while that's doing that, we're gonna launch our cover creator. Okay, now we're going to launch our cover creator which is pretty easy. You do have to manipulate a little bit, but um, again, you can go as detailed as you want. I'm gonna make this an easy one by just, do, I mean, they've got covers you can use, but I'm gonna upload a photo, of course, that I want to use. And so I will go over here to me, the photos that I've used and which one I should have figured out already, which one I wanna use. I'm thinking something like this one here. Maybe this guy here, since his face is not. There we go, see something like that, okay. I don't like that one, let's give some other options here. Don't like those, don't like those, uh, don't like those. Okay, give some pretty bland options, so I'm gonna have to customize some things here. Okay, so we're gonna choose this one here, and you'll see what I, okay, so I'll have to, Get in here where there's no text, grab this photo and bring it all the way over. And this is gonna be, actually gonna go up here a little bit outside the box. There we go, that covers the top and the bottom. Sure, I can, yes, I can change that color. Secondary color is what we wanna change to black. There we go. Okay, so you see how we did that? We just, we left our text color right here. You can change it if you want. Secondary color, you just click here and we changed it to black. 
And now our entire, well, let's go with the primary color here is just black also because I want everything as black. So now we've got everything as black. So anytime there would be any overlap, it's not there. This is, oh, we don't want anything here. And right here, I want to, this is set to auto fit. If you change the points, you see then you can dramatically change what this looks like. I don't like that. Let's go 48, kind of like that. Okay, so now uh, certainly don't need this since I already had that in there. Yeah, this is where we want to put that. And we want to get rid of it up here. So again, you have to manipulate a little bit, but there we go. That's, uh, I would like this to be much smaller. Okay, so I bet if we change that, now we can... Yep, looks like everything's good to go. It's allowing me to save it. Save and submit. Okay. And now we are, we've got our premium color with white paper, eight and a half by eight and a half, no bleeds, glossy. Our manuscript is still processing. Our cover has been uploaded successfully. Okay, so it went through the process and you see there's our little ISBN tag right there. There's our cover, all looking pretty good. This is the previewer. And as you preview it, as again, that's the inside cover. This would be the first page you're actually looking at. You know, make sure your typos aren't in there, that sort of thing. All right, make sure you didn't spell your name wrong. And then we start thumbing through the photos, which again, blank page here, first photo, which is actually page five. And now we start zipping through. It all looks pretty good to me. I don't see any issues or any problems or... It's a very, I mean, not a, I mean, there's nothing exciting. It's just kind of a record of this one outing I had of street photography. And there you have it. That's just, you know, 40 some pages. And there we go. And that's the inside blank page. This is the inside back cover. And then the cover would be on the back. So now uh, you can either approve this or you can also do the thumbnail view here. And that's what the book's going to look like. There's your cover and uh, these are the pages. So I approve, which I just clicked, and now it's taking us back. Now we've had two completed steps. Now you get to find out what this is gonna cost. So we've previewed, look at it. Your cost is only $3.93 per book to buy this book for yourself. So I can pay $3.93, well, probably another couple bucks for shipping. So if you buy a bunch of them, it's still only a couple bucks for shipping. But if you buy one, that all goes into one. But anyway, for about five or six bucks, I can get a copy, almost like a proof of this book. And I can have a million of these books lying around. It doesn't matter. Uh, the, yeah, as of yet, it does not go onto Amazon until you put it on there live, but you can still get your copy. So um, you can find out more information about printing cost and whatnot. And there, I believe the cost is going up a little bit after in the next month or so. This is, uh, yep, there we go. The costs are gonna change on June 20th. So today's the 16th. So in about four days, that's gonna be a different price. Sorry, don't know what it's gonna be, but it won't be much more. So I like that. I'm going to continue. And we're getting very close to the end of our book. Now we're in the process. Okay, I want it to go to all territories because who cares? Um, now is when you figure out how much you want to charge versus how much you're going to make. The minimum they will allow you to charge is $6.55. See, that's going to go up after June 30th to $7.53. So you might as well just do that now. 
And again, by the time you watch this video, which this video may not even come out before June 20th, so at any rate, you see what they, that it just did increase. So I'm gonna make this, uh, who cares? Let's say if I made it $15, I'm talking US dollars, I would make, uh, whoops, my royalty would be $5 per book. So who cares? I'll just leave it there. Oh, actually after June 1st, it'll, okay, so I'm gonna make it uh, $16 because I'm greedy. There we go, $16 and I will make $5. If I wanted to make it $116, I would make $65, but nobody's gonna pay that. So let's go back to $16 a book and I'll make $5, which nobody's gonna buy this, so I don't really care. And you can see all these different prices here. If you're in the UK, France, Espanol, no, that's not Espanol. Okay, anyway, so I'm fine. You can request a proof if you want. If this is going to be like your war and peace or your major book that you're putting out there, you know, hardcover and all that stuff, you want to request a proof, which uh, if you hit request proof, well, I'm, I'm not going to hit request proof. Let's see. Uh, yes, I will hit request proof. I'm going to save, continue without saving. Yeah, I want to save it, so I'm going to continue. So it, for some, a book like this, I would not request a proof because I could care less. Uh, I, but, but, but if you, you know, again, you really want to, actually, I believe the proofs may come sooner, but it does say proof across the front of it. I've got several of those. doesn't bother me, but and you can order up to five copies. And if you go to, like I would go to, they're only $3.93 a piece, uh, plus whatever little shipping there'd be. But I don't want to do that, so I'm going to back to pricing. And I've got it priced. Now we can publish the paperback, which I might as well. What do I care? So I'm just going to go ahead and publish. And it, uh, once it's up there, it's very difficult to get down. So, and there's my book. You should be able to go look at it right now. It'll take up to 72 hours for this to actually be available. And if it passes our review, so, then you can go back, start your ebook version of it, also free, or your hardback version. Uh, but basically, yeah, there it is. I don't know really why I should, I should have put a month because this is not going to be my only Rico GR3 street photography, or GR, I'm sorry, street photography. But nonetheless, there it is. It's available. And if you go to Amazon, you should be able to find it. And my other titles as well. This one I've actually got as a hardback for $36. I bought a copy. It only cost me about $12. And that's why I do this. Most of these, I've got a lot of books that I don't have available. See, live means people can buy them. Like this one is a draft. I, I, I've got a copy of this myself as a publisher's copy, but I did not make it available. I could, I guess, no reason I shouldn't. Uh, this one, for the heck of it, 26 bucks. Nobody's gonna pay that. There's one that's not live. And uh, here's an unpublished 2017 Baltimore wall calendar. So anyway, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. And I, I'm sure I did not cover everything, but you can go in here. There's a lot of tutorials. This is a really, I would say, it's not an easy thing to figure out, but it's also not hard if you just take the time to go through and do it. So I did not get into detail on any of this, only an overview of my process. Hopefully that helps and you can get your book published as well. So again, until the next one, guys, we'll see you later. So long, everybody.